All right, people, so I want to talk about the whole Confederate flag controversy. Now, I think the, 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 uh, the fact that this is a story, uh, you, you know, a, a major news story, you know, on the front lines of Fox News, MSNBC, C, you know, whatever the fuck, ABC, whatever, you know, it, it's a fucking thing being debated. It's ridiculous. You know, you know. We, we have such a tyrannical government, you know, so, you know, just evil and manipulative and lying and just, just corrupt. Yeah, the only thing we, we can, you know, we have the TPP being put through, all this shit happening. Yet the only thing we could talk about is a motherfucking flag yeah. that existed, you know, it exists today, obviously, but it had its prime in 18 fucking 60. You know, it's, it, it's sad. It's really sad. And it's become this heated t topic, heated debates, whatever. You know, this is ridiculous. You know, this is fucking ridiculous. That, the, the, that this, you know, that this debate is even happening. You know, and, and the thing is, like, you know, even, you know, I, I always talk about mass shootings and how they, you know, they're hyped up as these huge events when they're not really a big deal. You know, in Detroit, you get fucking... I live by Detroit. I live about 20 minutes. I live in a good area. I live about 20 minutes away from Detroit. In Detroit, about one person dies every fucking day. They get murdered there every fucking day. So since that South Carolina shooting happened, there's been probably more murders in Detroit. But you won't hear anybody talk about that in the mainstream, will you? No, you won't. Because it's not a news story that's going to gain attention. It's only when they're killed in mass. And while mass shootings are horrible, while any shooting is horrible, uh, you know, the mainstream media is always quick to jump on the mass shootings and prop them up as big news stories. Yet they won't talk about the black-on-black -black crime. They won't talk about the black-on-black -black murder rates, will they? No, they will only talk about mass shootings and shit like that. So they, so, so, but, but again, you know, just an example of how just corrupt people, you know, the mainstream media is and how dumbed down people are to, to be debating over a fucking flag. You know, and if you really want to talk about, you know, should the flag still, I mean, you could, okay, talk about it for a few minutes. And since it's such a kind of like a big topic, I do want to talk about it for a few minutes here. All right. All right. So let's go over the Confederate flag here. You know, I don't have a Confederate flag, obviously. You know, live in fucking Detroit, which is in the fucking north. So, you know, even if I did live in the south, I probably, I would be different, but I, I don't think, I, I don't, I wouldn't see myself possessing a confederate flag and flying it on my house or whatever, you know. But anyway, you know, again, let's go over the confederate flag. So a lot of people are saying, oh, it just uh, rep represents slavery. So it should be, you know, taken down from the state capitol. Or whatever, you know, or it's a bad flag. You know, people need to do their research and, you know, actually learn history as opposed to just going on with the mainstream history stories. Because if you actually do your research on the Civil War, you'll find that it just wasn't about slavery. All right, slavery, yes, it was an issue. It was a horrible thing. There were, you know, a few million slaves. But when it comes down to the facts, only about... 2% of the population owns slaves. So a small amount of the, the population... Own, and, and again, that's not something that you will find in the mainstream... That's not something the mainstream media is going to tell you. You know, MSNBC is telling you that America was founded on slavery when that's simply not the case. The, the fact of the matter is only a few percent of Americans held slaves. But anyway, you know, they, they'll hype it up. Oh, it was a horrible thing. You know, slavery... You know, they were treated horribly. And, and while, you know, a lot of the slaves were treat, treated horribly, especially on bigger plantations, there was also a lot of instances, I'm not justifying it, but again, I'm just, again, you know, mainstream media always lies about shit. You know, or not always mainstream media, but all the people, they, they, they don't tell you the truth. The fact of the matter is there are cases where slaves were not all that, that sad. They were, you know, okay, you know, my slave mistress is teaching me shit, you know, I'm kind of happy, I'm learning, I'm doing, you know, I'm with my family at least. So slaves weren't always horribly off, they weren't always getting whipped and beaten and raped, 
All right, there there are cases where the slaves are actually treated with some decent respect. All right, but again, the Civil War was not fought over slavery uh, by itself. A lot of other issues were, you know, because the North was, uh, you know, involved. You know, there was a big debate about states' rights in economic issues, too. The North was taxing the South. That, that, that was kind of an issue, too. You know, the taxes were getting ridiculous on the South. Actually, you know, they say it's all about slavery. The head of the Confederate Army opposed it. What does that tell you, huh? Yeah, Robert E. Lee opposed slavery. You know... So, so the fucking head of the fucking army opposed the people. I mean, again, what, what, what the fuck does that tell you? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, I mean, it, it wasn't all just about slavery people. And again, only a few percentage of the people owned slaves. So, obviously, there were people fighting for things other than fucking slavery if only a few percentage of the people held slaves. Again, slavery was an issue. It, it was a horrible thing. It shouldn't have happened. Uh, bad thing. You know, but so when you think of the Confederate flag, it wasn't all about slavery. All right. There were, you know, other ways that people made a living besides slavery. So, you know, there you go. I mean, that's just fucking history. Look it up, people. It's in, you know, a lot of websites. You could look it up. All right. You know, but if you go to school, you'll probably learn, oh, the South fought the North because of slavery. And that's the only reason. And slaves were fucking you know, treated like shit, which a lot of times they were, but not always the case, and this and that, and a lot of times, again, history is skewed, they don't tell you the truth, you know, they try to brand Abe Lincoln as this great fucking guy, when in reality, he did he did some things wrong, uh, you know, so, you know, they, they call him Honest Abe and whatever, so, but I mean, that's, there, there you go, there's your history lesson, I just want to try to enlighten people about the real issue. Yeah, people are going to say, oh, you know, the Confederate flag is only about slavery. No, 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 that's not the fucking, you know, that's not what it's only about. And again, why why are we fucking making this into a huge issue? It shouldn't be a huge issue. Huge issue should be things like the, T -T the TPP or Obama trying to take our guns or Obama being a criminal and shit like that or the Bilderberg meetings, not the fucking Confederate flag. All right, this is ridiculous. All right, to, to, to fucking debate this. All right, especially now. You know, if, if we had, you know, a, a good government, okay, maybe we could debate this. But now, no, no. We, we There's just way too much corruption and tyranny to fucking go off on the fucking Confederate flag. But my my stance on it, I guess, is, you know, keep keep it up. Why, why are we taking it down? And if we take it down, that just sets a precedent to take other shit down. Because then you can make an argument, oh... Take the American flag down because, you know, in America we, you know, did we, we've done bad things. Let's admit it. Nobody's perfect. We've done bad things. We've interned Japanese. We've, you know, persecuted Indians uh, we, we, or Native Americans, whatever the fuck. I know people get pissed off. I always get those confused. Um, we've done horrible things and we continue to do horrible things. But I think the flag doesn't represent doesn't necessarily represent the corrupt actions of a few. It, it represents, you know, the, the greatness of America and what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a free nation of free individuals living freely, free, 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 freedom. You know, that's kind of what it's supposed to represent. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people have shit on America, but it doesn't mean the American flag should be demonized. All right. So, you know, again, I think taking away the Confederate flag and demonizing it, it can, can just lead to more censorship and shit like that. So there you go, people. I'm not going to, you know, go on too much more about this. But there you go, people. There are, there are my thoughts on the Confederate flag controversy.